Hi, it's me again. There is always one story that catches even a storyteller off guard. And that is his own. Alright, so to start off this video, let's go over what happened last week. And to do that, let's start with the oldest stuff to the newest stuff. So what happened first last week to what happened last last week. That's confusing. Anyway, um, starting with Sunday. Well, this week was actually my best friend's week off from college for spring break. So it required a little bit of celebration and some really wise decisions. Anyway, so to start off the week, we wanted a bang. So we had a camp out on Sunday night in the village from Beyond Under, which is actually over there in our yard. You know what? I'm actually going to show it to you. Okay, so right now we are marching across our front yard. Oh, something else that also happened this week, but happened last this week, actually it just happened yesterday, was our cousins from Mississippi came over. And that's their car right there. It's the, uh, the white one. Yeah, so they're here. Um, I'll try to go see. It's really early in the morning, so they're not up yet. But I'll try to go see if I can get some footage of them. But the uh, village is just right over this way. You can see it right there on the horizon. the village. So yeah, there's the village. And when I get into it, I'll tell you exactly how the camp out went and everything. But, so... We have this camp out Sunday night in the village here. This is the um, tent we were in. And it, man, it poured Sunday night. So we're in the village here Sunday night. And we're having the camp out and everything. And everything seems to be going pretty good. Um, and everybody kind of fades off and goes to bed around midnight, one or so, except for Jonathan, my brother, my best friend, and I. And we are actually all sitting around the campfire right here until four in the morning. Now, all three of us are morning persons. Neither one of us are night persons. So, it's four in the morning, we're all morning people, and we are exhausted. We've actually come uh, to call this time our finest hour because it got pretty crazy. Um, we, we talked about some odd stuff. But anyway, so when we went to go to bed and got ready, Jonathan got his stuff and went into the community tent with everyone else and went to sleep. However, there really wasn't room for two more people in the community tent, and we didn't really think about this beforehand. So Riley and I decided to be pioneers, which is my best friend and me, and we went in there. And like I stated earlier, it poured that night. Poured. And we slept in this shabbiness of a roof job here, yeah. That. Yeah, that's the roof that we trusted to keep us dry Sunday night. So needless to say, at about six that morning, so you know, we had slept for a total of three hours, we woke up and our sleeping bags were flooded. I mean, we were like swimming in them. So we had to break down tent and head inside um, to get dry. And we slept another like hour inside or something like that. Even though most of us would have been up by that time anyway, we had stayed up so late last night that we just <sighs> conked out. So that was Sunday night and early Monday morning. For the rest of Monday, I was kind of, you know, doing my school and slogging around because I was so sleepy. Which brings us to Tuesday. And actually Tuesday, um, my best friend came back with his brothers and we did what we call the sword game, which is actually 
a really cool game. It's the um, embodiment of manhood in a game. It is so much fun. So, what we do in the sword game is it's pretty much medieval warfare, except the only way that you can attack anyone in this game is by actually tapping them on the back above the um, waistband of their pants and below either between or below their shoulder blades so if you hit them on the shoulder blades it doesn't count it has to be between the shoulder blades or below the shoulder blades and that's the only way that you get them out in the game and we've all made these weapons this is mine it's actually a double sword that has two connectors on the end here and connects together to form a quarter staff. So we we have all kinds of fun with this game. We've made all sorts of weapons for it. We've got um, tons and tons of shields that we've made out of satellite dishes and those are actually seen in Nicodemus is right behind me so let me show you the stack of them. There is a few there. Here's a really giant one here and there's even more of them on the porch out there. Don't know if you can really see the porch well. Okay, so this is one of the um, shields for the sword game. As you can see, it's just a satellite dish, and we attach these belts to them. And the way you actually maneuver this thing is you would take and you put your arm through this first loop here, and then you grab the cross loop here, and you tighten this one to as tight as you need it on your arm and then there you go you've got a shield so I mean we have way too much fun with this game but so we did that all day Tuesday pretty much from about uh, from about one o'clock up until um, everybody had to leave at about seven so yeah that was a whole lot of fun and then that brings us to Wednesday, and nothing really happened Wednesday, and nothing really happened Thursday, and then Friday was Shabbat, and we had Shabbat meal, but nothing incredible happened Friday. Well, actually, Friday, I had to help my best friend once again. Um, he is actually going to a summer camp this summer to be a team leader up there. So one of the things I was required to do for his application was to write a small devotion. It had to be typed up a full page at the most, half page at the least. So he was wanting my help um, writing it. So um, Friday at about a one, at about one, I went over to his house and we worked on that for a couple of hours until about six. Well, about five thirty, and at five thirty, his um, neighbor called and needed help emptying a dump load truck of corn. So we went over to his neighbor's house, helped him empty this dump load truck of corn, which was really fun because you crawl all the way up to the, because the dump truck is slanted because it's trying to dump the corn out, and you climb all the way up to the top of the dump truck and you can just slide down all the corn. You just slide. It's so much fun. But, so we did that for about 30 minutes, helped him finish up that. And then my best friend took me home, and we had Shabbat meal here. Went to bed, woke up Saturday, and had um, our worship at the branch. And that was all good and everything. We came back home, and our cousins came. Um, they actually ended up, they were supposed to be here at 8, and they ended up being here at like 5.30, something like that, 5.40. So they were really early, which was good because we got way more time to spend with them last night than we were supposed to initially. And that's about all that happened for this week. Oh, and yeah, I'm going to see if I can get some footage of my cousins.
This is my cousin Izzy. Yeah. So, have fun. Because so far, I have.